the few days after a disappointment like that, what's it been like around the camp? I said straight after the, the final whistle to the players in the, in the change room exactly what we have to walk out the change room thinking and very clear, very clear. We have the mindset now of we have three games. We have the mentality that we, we have to win the three games and we have to go into it with the best possible um, frame of mind and best way to, to try and win those three games. We, that's our mindset, that's what we said straight away afterwards and that's been the, the message all week. Does it almost focus everyone that that's what you need to do now, you know what you need to do? Well, I actually said to the players afterwards, it's actually probably, in, in, in a funny way, it's probably a bit easier. I think previous to the game on Sat on Monday, Sat sorry, um, there was a lot of talk about how many points you would need to to make the playoffs and, and, and there's also a lot of talk about what the opposition results were and, and stuff like that, that's what's been going on. Um, not inwardly, but obviously around, and um, it's very simple now. You know, we win our three games, we we make the playoffs. So um, that's our mindset. That's what I said to the players straight away after the final whistle, and and it's been that way all week. And your future or your destiny is still very much in your own hands. I guess that must feel good as well. No, of course, and it's important, and and that's why the mindset has to be like that. We have to make sure that we take care of our own own business and go there with the right determination to put our best on the pitch to, to give ourselves the best opportunity to win these three games. But it, it, it's one game at a time, you know, we have to, and which we are, is very focused on this game of the weekend, is making sure that we can go there and, and, and give ourselves the best opportunity to, to win that game and take it one game at a time. And, and But the mindset is that we, we know that we need to win these three games. That's our mindset. So we need to put that in our own hands and, and that's how we approach it. Have you analysed what went wrong at the weekend or was it just one of those days? No, look, it's... it's Unfortunately, this can happen, you know, and um, with this group, I think you have to remember. Um, they've come so far and um, it's easy to forget, you know, they've come so far and we've there's a lot of foundations that have been in place and it's very clear and it's always going to give them the best opportunity going forward in the future for this club. And But it's also a situation where um, you look over probably the last 15, 20 years, 73 points has been the average that would get you into the playoffs. It just shows you how competitive this year has been. It's, I guess, a little bit unfortunate we've we've hit a year where it's been ultra competitive. And um, and it's it's kind of strange to think that, of course, our mindset is to win these three games, but we could actually win these three games, end up on 82 points and, and just make the playoffs by one or two points. So it just shows you how competitive it's been this year, how difficult it is to, to win games and, and that's why these, these players deserve massive credit to be in this position with three games to go, um, something that the club's not done for a long, long time. I think it, you have to remember that you know, for the players and, and that's the confidence that they get from it. They've been superb this season and yes, there's ups and downs, but overall to be in this position, um, knowing what, what's needed and, and have this opportunity, I think um, no, we're going to it determined to give our all. How's the squad looking ahead of the game? Yeah, um, the only one is Marco, um, obviously injured. Um, but we're very hopeful that he'll be back before the end of the season. Um, and Coops has suspended everyone else is, is training um, and ready. Um, Tyler's back into to training, so that's good. And, and yeah, um, he'll be selecting the, the right team and the right squad to go there on Saturday and, and give ourselves the best opportunity. Has there been any reaction in training? or? No, they're very clear, very focused. Um, they understand. Like I said, after the full-time whistle, it was... Very clear. We had a good discussion, and, um, and there'll be no one more determined than the players for sure, um, one hundred percent. And, and uh, be prepared, like they do in all the games, to give their very best and and go there with the mindset in these next three games, starting with this game on Saturday. But it's a big game for them as well, of course. They need points for an entirely different reason. What are you expecting from them? Well, I think it just shows you again, going back to the point of we having to hit upon a one of the most competitive seasons in. Um, over the last 15, 20 seasons. Um, so it just shows you what the level's been like and how difficult it's been. So Burn have done exceptionally well. Nigel's done a, a fantastic job there. And um, you also, when you're preparing for games, you have to try and take in that environment, the team you're playing against, and um, understand what's best for yourself. But I think we've been, like always, very focused on ourselves. Um, know how we have to play and uh, how we want to do it to, to give ourselves the best opportunity. And, and that's always been the case all season. We, there's no reason to stop now. No, I don't think <laughs> you maybe asked the players for that one, but um, now look, whatever team they put out, it's going to be a difficult game as they all are in the championship. And um, yeah, we, we'll go there prepared, which we have been all week and focused and, and make sure that we give our maximum. The key, the key is to leave everything out on the pitch, give our maximum, put everything on the pitch. And we know that more, more often than not, when we do that, it's, it's good enough. Um, and if it isn't, then um, 
it won't be for a lack of, of effort and, and, and putting our maximum on the pitch. But we're, right now we're focused on this game. It's preparation for this game. Nothing else matters and we're ready to give our all on Saturday. Does it help that they've got something to play for as well, do you feel? I don't think it matters. I think, um, as I keep referring to, it's, it's ultra competitive. It's been that way all season. It's been in every single game. There's been no easy games. There's been no givens. In the, you know, and that's what's probably contributed to, like I said, the fact that we probably have to reach 82 points to, to reach the playoffs um, by one or two points. So it just shows you across the whole league how competitive it's been, how the quality that we've faced and, and we've had to produce ourselves to, to put ourselves in this position. So um, I think the players should be very proud of that. I think everyone should be proud of that. But now the objective is to get into the playoffs, this final push. Um, we're determined and I'm sure everyone connected, including our fans, are, are ready for it. I know that this club, when it has a challenge put in front of it, comes together and they'll be ready to support the boys and give everything like the players will be. The first reaction of the fans having dropped out of the playoffs for the first time since November is to buy every available ticket for the Norwich game. So they're right behind you still, aren't they? It tells you everything. And, um, and it's been amazing all season. We've I've said sat here many times with you guys and said how that relationship's built, and and it's been built because of these players, the performances they've been given, the the way they try and represent the club, and and the fact that we've had meaningful games the whole season, and we still have three meaningful games is is not happened at this club for a long time, and and um and that's given our fans something to buy into, and and like you just said there, even in these three games. The fact that they're buying up all the tickets doesn't surprise us. I just think that's the way it's been this season, and and that's what it's very hard. You lose track of, you know, when certain situations happen, and you lose track of the bigger picture, what's what's been put in place, and how these players have done this season, and what they've achieved. And um, but of course that's understandable because you're in a, that next objective, which is the chance to to get to the playoffs and, and fight for a place in the Premier League. So we understand it, but just shows you the reaction. They've been superb all season. I think that relationship has just grown and grown and grown. And the fact that we're playing meaningful games that mean something, um, I think that's something the club's been missing for a long time. So we're very proud of that. And I know the fans are. And we'll go in these three games all together and, and give our maximum. Last one from me. Uh, Pontus Janssen, there's been a lot of speculation about him in the paper. Have you, you spoken to him about it? Or is it just brushed under the carpet for uh, now? Absolutely no need. Like I said, I don't talk about speculation. If there's any players that are not focused on what we're doing right now, and then that would be a problem. But from what I've seen from every single one player, they're fully focused, ready for these games, starting with this game on Saturday. And I'm sure you'll see it in their performances, how committed they are.